Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Sei Shu. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is We Win, based out of Olympia, Washington. Tough name, I know, but great guy. For several years, he lived and worked as a photojournalist in Dallas, Texas, and he's also founded the Foundation Workshops for Photographers based back in 2002. He's also responsible for the Fearless Conference that takes place in November each year. In February 2017, we will be presenting at Inspire Photo Retreats, and that's why we have him here. We're going to talk about his presentation, and it's an exciting and ins really inspiring conference for photographers out of Newport, Rhode Island. Now, thanks for joining me today, We I appreciate it. I know we've been doing this. We've been going back and forth for a number of a number of months almost trying to get you on the show but thanks for joining me today hey yeah hey thanks for having me it's uh it's a rare occasion for me to be on on shows on shows uh, yes shows yeah I, I don't know sometimes i i do a lot of photo critiques where i ask photographers things and critique photos with them right but rarely ever do i get to talk about myself or have to talk about myself all right. Well, let's okay. make make it. There's always an exception to the rule, right? So, yeah. um, thanks for helping me along. Absolutely. We. I want you to sort of uh, do a little bit of a rewind and, and just help us out and and tell us a little bit more about your background um, as a photojournalist. I know you were uh, at the Dallas Morning News for a number of years. Uh, what 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 is it that inspired you to start Foundation Workshop uh, back in 2002? All right, so uh, you know, I went to college uh, for engineering, and along the way, like a lot of people, I discovered another calling. So I kind of discovered photography, mm -hmm. and when I graduated from college, I started working for newspapers, and so that was my my background. That was my training. I gained a lot of valuable training and um, learned a lot through working for newspapers. My last job was with the Dallas Morning News, and then at, at that Around 2002, 2003, I broke away from newspapers and did wedding photography. And I loved it, and I totally jumped into it. And I did wedding photography sort of the, the same way that I photograph for newspapers, you know, very candid, very mm -hmm. unscripted, mm -hmm. very um, authentic, very real. Okay. Um, and I guess that, you know, that was um, accepted, and it was... Uh, I felt like I was successful, I was having fun, and I was uh, doing good work for people, and I was making a good living. And I thought that I wanted to share those skills with other other wedding photographers, and that's why I started the workshop. And awesome. the, the, work, the foundation workshop is um, basically a bunch of uh, photo journalists who, are, who have turned into wedding photography, and we got together to teach. So the workshop, has has many the workshop always has many teachers uh, almost a one to one faculty to student ratio it's kind of it's kind of weird and unique but it's you know it's been worked for many years now and we really really believe in it so this year is the um, you know 14 so it's the 14th year and we've had over 27 workshops in different oops you're cutting in and out there wait workshops. Can you hear me? Three, three workshops, um, two in the U.S. and one in Spain. Okay, I'm yes. sorry, you, you got you got cut off a little bit there. Um, so, tell me, tell us a little bit about your experience uh, teaching now. You've taught so many people, uh, sort of the the art of photojournalism, I guess, if that's such a thing. Um, what what is it that you find is so attractive about photojournalism, especially in, among wedding photographers? Why is it so attractive to them to say well this is the approach i want to take for photographing weddings what why is it what is the big why about that i think photojournalism is um well let's let's think about a, a wedding and what a, what kind of what kind of photographs the clients are looking for from their weddings and um you know a wedding is a real family occasion. It's a, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of emotions, there's a lot of activity, there's a lot of connections involved. 
And so photo, photojournalism is what we use. Is the photojournalism skills are the skills that we use to photograph powerful photographs, to make powerful photographs that show this kind of interaction, this kind of love, this kind of activity, this kind of uh, family togetherness. And a lot of our clients want that. Um, also, there are a lot of clients who also want to show how beautiful and grand and glamorous their weddings are. And that's fine. Um, they can choose whatever they want to, to remember. They can choose however they want to remember their weddings, right? They can remember their weddings. Sure. Yeah, so they can select a photographer who's really good at capturing moments, or they can select a photographer who's really good at making things look glamorous and awesome and epic or whatever. And in my case, I can really offer the kind of authentic pictures that they might want. So that's that's what I bring to the table. And any photographer who wants to learn how to do that, I you know we can show them how that's done. Okay. It doesn't mean that doesn't mean that they should um, not know other skills too. I mean, a, a well-rounded photographer should know all the skills and be able to make epic, beautiful pictures as well as authentic moments. Awesome. And there are many photographers who can do both. Awesome. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I've seen uh, so much of the work that comes out of your group, Fearless Photographers, and it's mind-blowing. I mean, there's amazing, amazing work. Um, talk to us a little bit about your presentation at Inspire Photo Retreats. I know that's coming up in February of 2017 in Newport, Rhode Island. I've been to it several times. This is your first time being there. Uh, what are your expectations and what are you presenting? What are you going to be talking about uh, so that people can, the, listening to this conversation can also get excited about what you what you got to teach them? Right. So this is my this will be my first time at Inspire. So I'm very curious about it. I'm, I'm I've heard really good things and I'm very excited about jumping into a new sort of a new crowd of people mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know new new photographers that I have not met before um, new organization new it's, just, it's completely different from my sort of side of the world and it's also in the East Coast so there's a lot of newness to it and so I'm bringing I hope that I'm bringing something fresh something that's a little bit different than what they're used to mm -hmm. I know that other photographers have presented there and they've They've taught photojournalism. They've taught, they've taught what I want to teach, right? Sure. But what can I, I can offer is, is the teaching that I do it my way, because it's I find that in the industry, it's not so much the new, newness of information that is presented that is uh, that is or that is wanted, but it's how that's taught mm -hmm. that that really makes it effective. Sure. We can all we can all we, we all say this. We all want to teach the same the same things, pretty much. We all want to teach how to be close to people. We all want to teach right. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. we all want to teach um, when to do what, how to assess the risk of when to go for the risky shot, when not to. We all want to teach uh, angles and when to choose. You know how when an angle works best and when an angle may not work best. So those are photojournalistic skills we all want to teach, and we all have our own way of doing it. Um, but we all, we all, all of our teachers, as teachers, we also have a way of connecting with the students and how to transfer what we know so that they, your students, can understand. Sure. And I think that I can do things my way, that I can offer the information the way that I structure it or the way that I do it that are different from other teachers. So it, it depends on, I have to do a little bit more um, as, a, as the um, retreat date closes, um, as we come up to the retreat, I need to know, I, I need to assess um, what, the student, what the students are like so I can understand how to reach them. I can understand, you know, what I need to do to make sure they understand what I'm saying. And, and even beyond that, Encourage them to practice what I do. <laughs> encourage them to to slowly practice what they learn because learning is, is is learning is easy to do. It's easy to sit there and listen. It's yes. easy to, to say, "Hey, that's ground great. I really want to do that." Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Right? That's 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 what I want to do. But it's hard to go home and every day, you know, make yourself actively practice. Yes, or, or, or even 
you know, try a few new things at a wedding. That's even harder to do. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I really, uh, part of my teaching is also to encourage people and show them how they can take these little steps to to change their habits of shooting, to, to add in more habits, hopefully good habits. Awesome. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, this is, and not let it end. Okay. Yeah, that's great. I think this is uh, phenomenal that you know you're you've come you're coming prepared to transform people from just sort of being listeners to actual doers. You know, being able to photograph weddings uh, using these photojournalism backed techniques, I guess, uh, to a certain extent. So when it comes down to it, uh, you're you're coming there for the entire three days of of the. The workshop, obviously, and you also have some mentoring sessions planned so that you can actually talk to people about uh, their work, w whether it's a body of work that they already have. Uh, they'll sit down with you and schedule a time to to show you their work so that they can possibly go back home with tips and tricks uh, that you probably come up with to help them be better f photojournalists at on a wedding day, right? I think that's how the retreat is structured, and sure. I find that. I find that um, cool. I mean, I'm, I'm very interested in how that works, where it's not just a presentation. I think they schedule a lot of time for interaction with the teachers, yes. with the presenters, and there's a lot of small groups involved. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I think the the theory is that in a small group, sometimes people are, are freer, that they're less intimidated to ask questions. They can, they can really um, relax more. Maybe they can, they can um, feel more comfortable. In the right. smaller groups, and however Mark sets it up, uh, I'm ready to jump in and uh, and have fun, you know, and do what I can to help. Um, yeah, in wonderful. My three, three days there. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to having you there uh, at the Inspire Photo Retreats conference uh, in Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, thanks for joining me today, Wee. Oh, thank you, Sessions. It's good talking with you. Thank I you. I look forward to meeting you again. Take care. Okay. Cool. Bye. Thanks. Mm -hmm.